60 firefighters from across Montana are in Great Falls setting policy for the upcoming year. MTN's Margaret DeMarco has more from the Montana State Council of Professional Firefighters and the Montana State Firemen's Association Annual Joint Convention. We also have our state ambassador family with us today. This is the first time Josh Rowan has attended the state convention. I've only been on the fire department for two years and I felt like it's important for for guys to, to learn from guys that have, have done this before. Rowan is using this experience to learn from those before him, but he is also learning more about his union. Deciding what we're going to do for the upcoming year, whether it's legislatively or how we're going to better take care of our members and some programs that we can offer to help our members out. Montana State Council of Professional Firefighters and the Montana State Firemen's Association President Joel Fassbinder says one of the topics they will be addressing is what's formerly known as presumptive care. It will now be called firefighter health and safety. Uh, the term presumptive was confusing, um, certainly for legislators and even for some of our own members. And I think it was hard to explain to our communities as well. Firefighter health and safety will not only address the cancer and disease risks that firefighters face daily, it will also address PTSD. They will also be talking about training, working conditions on how they can improve health and safety for their members. It's, it's a great opportunity to um, be part of, of a very democratic process. There is nothing more democratic in nature than a labor union. Everybody gets a vote and how policy is set for the upcoming year. But it is also a great opportunity for these men and women to connect while they are all together. Because how often are you going to see these guys from, you know, all across the state? You just don't. So I think really being able to be together and to solve some of these problems that we have and, and talk about our future, I think that's my favorite part. In Great Falls, Margaret DeMarco, MTN News.